sometimes in our spiritual journey, when we don't know what to do, the practice of that yin nature of being receptive and open and flowing with what is unfolding allows us to rest that ego nature. And um, this note, I think Brian put in here. Mm -hmm. You know, just the way the brain is wired. um, When we have a pattern, a way of doing things, it's stored in the hippocampus. And then that's just the way we automatically do it next time, the next time, the next time. But as we rest with this unknown, it weakens ego's dominance and it allows the brain to be rewired by just saying, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to just react. I'm going to sit and wait. And so the the ego, I I used to say it it like it puts our ego in a saute pan. The more we allow it to just rest in what's uncomfortable because not knowing what to do is not comfortable, certainly not in our society. We want to hurry up and make a decision and go. And so it's just bringing that down and being present with the discomfort of not knowing. Last week, we had an image of a a sailboat. And one of the sailboats had its sails hoisted, but there was no wind moving that sailboat. And when we wait, you know, when you're a sailboat, you have to wait (laughs) for the wind. But sometimes we, we under ego's power, um, can you got it? Yeah. (laughs) Kind of try and push that flow. Or row the boat. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, up the screen, set it down. <laughs> <laughs>